Land is an important resource for any community and a key factor of production in Kenya. The land program in Kenya is implemented by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations with the financial support of the European Union. The program's overall objective is to improve food and nutrition security through equitable, secure access and management of land for better livelihoods and social economic development in all counties as per Vision 2030. The land program brings together the various stakeholders in Kenya's land reform agenda, such as the Ministry of Lands and Physical Planning, National Land Commission, and county governments, with some focus on community land to improve land administration and management, land use planning, policies, and legal framework. This is in line with the Constitution of Kenya 2010, various legal frameworks, and other internationally accepted guidelines, such as the Voluntary Guidelines on Governance of Tenure, whose key pillars focus around human dignity, non-discrimination, equity and justice, gender equality, holistic and sustainable approach, consultation and participation, rule of law, transparency, accountability and continuous improvement. A key element of this program is community participation and engagement in the registration, governance and management of their land. First, Community members are made aware of the existing legal framework and tenure systems and on the importance of proper land governance and utilizing their land in a sustainable manner. The communities are then encouraged to establish the governance structures of their land. This involves identifying all members of the community, setting up of a community register and election of a community land management committee. The committees are constituted of members duly elected by the registered community members and include members from all segments of the community, the old and the young, male and female. After this, the communities are taken through capacity building sessions on land management and land use. Through participatory processes, the communities will then map their resources, boundaries and utilities. This involves identifying resources such as rivers, forests, and lakes. Once this is done, the next step is land planning and development of management plans for the land. Here, the community members together with other stakeholders come up with a land use plan. This involves putting aside land for farming, grazing areas, town centers, roads and public amenities such as schools and hospitals. Implementation and enforcement mechanisms are included in these plans for the effective governance and sustainable management. The next step involves the harmonization and validation of the maps, boundaries and management plans by the mandated institutions and the community neighbors. To prevent and address any dispute that might arise in this process, a proper conflict resolution committee is set up within the community in accordance with customary and alternative dispute resolution institutions. This involves using elders and other key community stakeholders such as chiefs in this process. The final steps involve the formalization of the registered community land. Here the community is awarded with a legal document by the mandated government body to confirm that they are the rightful owners of the land. The Land Program. Land Rights for All.